All right, so we open up InDesign and we're going to take a look at how do we go about taking an image that has transparency around it and placing objects, placing text, wrapping text around that object. So I could begin first in Photoshop and actually talk about, you know, how do we go about having an image that's transparent? Well, just a quick overview. In Photoshop and in Illustrator both, in order for an object to have transparent edges around it, it needs to either be a PNG or a GIF or an EPS also. But when you're in Photoshop and you go File, Save Web and Devices, you can save these images as either PNGs or GIFs and preserve the trans transparency. So here we go. We come into InDesign, we come File, New, we create a new file. I'm going to place this right in here. I just have a simple file here. And what I'm going to do right now is I want to place my image. And what I have is I have this little picture of a Buddha right here, and it's a PNG. When it was opened in Photoshop, it was a saved, so it had transparency around it. So I'm going to come on in. I'm going to come File, Place. I'm going to find this image with the transparency. I'm going to open it. It's rather large. So actually, why don't I make my box first? So I'm going to come on in here. I'm going to make a circular box right in the center and I'm gonna come on in again file place and I'm going to grab this image I'm going to say open and it should have placed it but what happened let's say so I click looks like something is in here let me come on in here and say uh, fit content to frame so there we go it was there it was so big that I couldn't see it <clears throat> alright so now next thing I want to do is I want to look at this text wrapping and what I want to do is first of all if I come on up in CS5 I can see that up on uh, this panel up here I have these little pictures for the text wrap now I also under my window have a text wrap button Right, so I'm going to come around, I'm going to say I want to, and I don't want to wrap around the bounding box. This is the bounding box, okay? But I want to do instead is I want to wrap it around the object. Now, what I need to do though is I need to tell um, InDesign to detect the edges, okay? And I could also come in here and say if I include the inside edge, then I can up this and see what's happening now. I'm putting... Um, a space around this object and that's what the inside edge. Now what I can do is I can come on in, I can grab my type tool, I can draw a type area and I'm just going to fill this with uh, placeholder text so I come to type and I'm going to say fill with placeholder text and voila there we have it. We just very easily wrapped type around this image. So thanks for listening. I'll leave you with that.